Unveiling the mysteries of our natural world, scientists continue to discover species that challenge our understanding of life. These species, often found in uncharted territories and extreme environments, not only showcase the vast diversity of Earth, but also highlight nature's ingenuity. Let's embark on a journey through 15 of the most remarkable discoveries, starting with the ethereal beauty found in the darkest depths of the ocean. Number 1. The Bioluminescent Octopus In the expansive, pitch-black abyss of the ocean depths, where light from the surface does not penetrate, bioluminescence has evolved as a common survival strategy. The bioluminescent octopus, scientifically known as Octophos lumino, is one such marvel discovered off the coast of New Zealand. At first glance, this octopus appears to be like any other deep-sea dweller, with its gelatinous structure, translucent skin, and large, bulbous eyes adapted to low-light conditions. However, when disturbed or during its hunting routine, it emits a breathtaking glow. The octopus's bioluminescent display isn't just a singular color, it can flash a vibrant spectrum from serene blues to fiery reds. Bioluminescence in many marine species serves multiple purposes. For the Octophos lumino, it's believed to serve three primary functions. First, it acts as a defense mechanism. When potential predators approach, the octopus's radiant display can startle or confuse them, allowing the octopus a chance to escape. Second, it aids in hunting. The pulsating light can attract curious prey, making them easy targets for the octopus's swift tentacles. Lastly, the bioluminescent patterns, which can be controlled with great precision, might play a role in communication between individuals, especially during mating rituals. Another unique aspect of the bioluminescent octopus is its reproductive behavior. While bioluminescence is used by several marine species for attracting mates, the octopus lumino takes this to another level. During mating seasons, males put on synchronized light displays, rhythmically pulsating in patterns believed to attract females. It's a mesmerizing underwater dance, where brighter and more intricate patterns are seen as more attractive. Scientists believe that the discovery of the bioluminescent octopus holds potential implications for biotechnological applications. Already, bioluminescent proteins from other organisms have been utilized in medical imaging, drug development, and as biological markers. Extracts from Octophos lumino are being researched for similar potential applications. Bioluminescent octopus reminds us of the untapped mysteries the deep sea holds. As we continue our exploration of the oceans, such discoveries underline the importance of preserving these habitats, ensuring that these enigmatic species thrive and continue to illuminate the ocean's darkest corners. Number two. The Wingless Beetle from Madagascar Madagascar, an island teeming with unique species due to its long-term isolation from other landmasses, has been the stage for countless evolutionary plays. One of the most recent discoveries on this biological hotspot is the Wingless Beetle, scientifically named Apteryx madagascariensis. Beetles, as a group, are remarkably diverse. With over 350,000 species described, they are known for their adaptive capacities and inhabit nearly every ecological niche on Earth. Yet, the discovery of a completely wingless beetle was surprising to many in the scientific community. Beetles, after all, are characterized by their hardened forewings, known as elytra, which protect the delicate hind wings underneath. But the Apteryx madagascariensis does not just lack hind wings, it lacks elytra as well. The lack of wings in this beetle is a classic example of evolutionary regression. While it might seem counterintuitive, losing a previously beneficial feature can sometimes offer a survival advantage. In the dense rainforests of Madagascar, where the floor is a maze of decaying leaves, twigs, and roots, the agility to navigate through tight spaces can be more beneficial than the ability to fly. The wingless beetle, with its compact, robust body, can swiftly move through underbrush, safe from predators and efficiently hunting its prey. One intriguing aspect of the beetle's life cycle is its reproduction strategy. Lacking wings and thus the ability to travel long distances, these beetles have developed an intricate mating dance to attract partners in the dense forest floor. Through a combination of vibrations and chemical pheromones, they communicate their readiness to mate, ensuring the continuation of their lineage. 
The discovery of the Apteryx madagascariensis reinforces the concept that evolution isn't just about gaining new features, it's about optimizing for survival. In the dense, isolated ecosystems of Madagascar, this beetle found its evolutionary advantage not in the skies, but grounded in the rich tapestry of the forest floor. As scientists delve deeper into understanding this unique species, it stands as a testament to nature's unending capacity for innovation and adaptation. Number 3. The Winged Desert Scorpion Deserts are realms of extremes where the conditions are tough and only the most adaptive survive. While tales of flying scorpions may seem like legends from ancient folklore, the recent discovery of the winged desert scorpion adds an element of reality to such stories, reshaping our understanding of adaptation and evolution in the arid landscapes. At first glance, the winged desert scorpion appears as an enigma, with membranous wings extending from its back, reminiscent of those of certain insects. But upon closer observation, one can see how seamlessly the wings fit into its anatomical structure, serving both functional and adaptive purposes. One of the first questions that arises is, why would a scorpion, known to be a ground dweller, evolve wings? The answer lies in the vast and challenging environment of the desert. With vast stretches of sand and limited shelters, mobility becomes paramount. While the winged desert scorpion cannot achieve sustained flights like birds or bats, it uses its wings for short glides, especially when descending from dunes or escaping predators. These short bursts of flight not only help the scorpion to cover more ground quickly, but also provide a vantage point to locate prey or mates. The structure of the wings is particularly fascinating. Unlike the robust wings of birds or bats, these are thin, almost translucent, and look delicate. However, they are tough, capable of withstanding the desert's abrasive sand and wind. The wings are also foldable, tucking neatly against the scorpion's body when not in use, ensuring they don't interfere with its normal terrestrial activities. However, the wings aren't the only fascinating feature. The scorpion's exoskeleton has a slightly altered texture, smoother and more aerodynamic, to facilitate its gliding movements. The pincers, too, have evolved to be more streamlined, reducing drag during these brief aerial journeys. Another intriguing aspect is the behavioral change accompanying this anatomical evolution. Winged desert scorpions have developed a unique mating dance, incorporating their ability to glide into their courtship rituals. This display not only showcases the scorpion's aerial prowess, but also helps attract potential mates. Yet with these evolutionary marvels come challenges. The wings, while sturdy, are still susceptible to damage. A torn or injured wing severely reduces the scorpion's mobility, making it vulnerable to predators. Additionally, while the short flights give the winged desert scorpion an advantage in locating prey, they also expose it to aerial predators, adding another dimension to its survival challenges. Number 4. The Peruvian Tunneling Frog Deep within the heart of the Peruvian rainforests, where verdant canopies shield the earth from the sun's full glare, a peculiar amphibian has captured the attention of the scientific community, the Peruvian tunneling frog, classified as Subterra rhinus peruvianus. At first sight, it appears somewhat nondescript. Its earthy hue and seemingly ordinary stature might not raise eyebrows. However, it's beneath the surface, quite literally, where this frog's remarkable story unfolds. Unlike its many cousins who hop freely above ground, the Peruvian tunneling frog has mastered the art of burrowing, carving out intricate networks below the rainforest floor. This subterranean lifestyle is not merely a whim. The rainforest, for all its beauty, is fraught with dangers for a small frog, predators, competition, and environmental extremes. By taking to the tunnels, Subterra ranus peruvianus mitigates these risks. The cool, damp underground is both a sanctuary from the heat and a hiding place from keen-eyed predators. Physiologically, the frog is a marvel of adaptation. Its hind limbs are muscular and robust, equipped with hard, keratinized tips ideal for digging. Its snout, too, is slightly pointed, facilitating efficient tunneling. But perhaps its most intriguing feature is its eyes. They are smaller than those of surface-dwelling frogs and covered with a transparent protective layer a testament to the frog's commitment to its underground realm. But life isn't entirely below ground for these frogs. 
On particularly wet nights, especially during the rain-soaked months, the adults venture out, their eerie, haunting calls echoing through the forest. This nocturnal serenade, still being deciphered by researchers, is thought to play a role in mating and territory establishment. The Peruvian tunneling frog is a testament to nature's ability to innovate. In a world above teeming with challenges, it has chosen a path less traveled, or rather tunneled. As we further our understanding of this unique amphibian, it reminds us that, in nature, there's always more than meets the eye, often hidden just beneath our feet. Number 5. The Cambodian Mirror, Feathered Bird Deep in the untouched jungles of Cambodia, where ancient trees stand tall and the songs of countless birds fill the air, ornithologists have uncovered a dazzling avian marvel. The Cambodian Mirror, Feathered Bird, scientifically named Reflectornis cambodiensis. Visually, this bird is nothing short of mesmerizing. Unlike the vibrant hues common in many tropical birds, the mirror-feathered bird sports an array of feathers that seem almost metallic in nature. Each feather, irrespective of size, possesses an iridescent mirror-like quality, reflecting light in myriad shimmering patterns. This reflective property is not due to pigmentation, but is instead a result of the unique structural arrangement of the proteins and keratins in each feather, bending and refracting light in a way that gives them their luminous glow. Beyond mere aesthetics, these mirror feathers serve multiple purposes in the bird's daily life. Predators, such as larger birds or tree-dwelling mammals, are often momentarily dazzled when the bird takes flight, the sun glinting off its wings in blinding flashes. This split second of confusion often provides the mirror-feathered bird with the crucial edge needed to escape. But it's not just about deterrence. In the dappled sunlight of the Cambodian jungle, where beams of light pierce through the canopy, the play of reflections from these birds creates a mesmerizing, almost hypnotic dance of light, used particularly during their elaborate mating rituals. Males, typically more radiant than females, engage in intricate aerial displays, their mirrored plumage catching the sun, creating spirals of light meant to enchant prospective partners. However, the beauty of the Cambodian mirror-feathered bird is a double-edged sword. Their unique feathers are highly prized in illegal markets, making them a target for poachers. Conservationists are now working diligently to protect these avian wonders, promoting ecotourism as an alternative means of benefiting from their existence without causing them harm. In the grand tapestry of nature, the Cambodian mirror-feathered bird is a gleaming thread, a testament to evolution's boundless creativity. It stands as a symbol of the mysteries that our planet still holds, waiting in the quiet corners of the world to be discovered and cherished. Number 6. The Subterranean Antarctic Worm In the icy expanse of Antarctica, where glacial winds howl and endless sheets of ice stretch as far as the eye can see, one would scarcely expect to find a teeming bed of life beneath the surface. Yet in this land of extremes, the unexpected has been unearthed. The subterranean Antarctic worm, scientifically christened as Glacia vermis antarcticus. The discovery of this worm challenges many preconceptions. The notion that such a delicate creature could exist in one of the Earth's harshest environments is mind-boggling. These worms, averaging about four inches in length, possess a translucent body, revealing a soft blue bioluminescent glow from within. This ethereal luminescence, while entrancing to observers, serves a purpose far beyond simple aesthetics. Beneath the Antarctic ice, in complete darkness, the bioluminescence of Glacia vermis antarcticus acts as a beacon for fellow worms. This luminary feature facilitates various social behaviors, from mating dances to coordinated hunting strategies. Yes, hunting. Despite their fragile appearance, these worms are voracious predators in their micro-ecosystem. Their primary diet consists of microscopic organisms, which the worms attract using their blue glow, reminiscent of the alluring light of anglerfish in the deep sea. As these tiny organisms, enchanted by the light, approach, the worm swiftly captures and consumes them. But how do they reproduce in such an environment? Researchers have found that during mating seasons, the bioluminescence of these worms intensifies, signaling readiness for reproduction. Eggs are then laid in protective gel-like sacs that insulate them from the external cold, 
providing a safe haven for the next generation of Antarctic worms. The discovery of the subterranean Antarctic worm shatters the belief that life, especially complex multicellular life, is limited in such extreme habitats. It stands as a beacon, much like its own bioluminescent glow, highlighting the resilience and adaptability of life. For scientists, Glacia vermis antarcticus offers a glimpse into the myriad ways evolution crafts solutions to seemingly insurmountable challenges, underscoring the boundless wonders our planet still conceals. Number 7. The Floating Forest Jellyfish Amidst the vast blue expanse of the open ocean where the boundaries of water and sky often blur, a spectacle of nature unfolds that has left marine biologists in awe. The floating forest jellyfish, scientifically dubbed Arborella flotilla. Unlike the common image conjured at the mention of a jellyfish, translucent, pulsating bells with trailing tentacles, the floating forest jellyfish boasts an appearance as enigmatic as its name suggests. Rising from its gelatinous bell are structures reminiscent of trees, complete with branches that splay outwards, swaying with the gentle currents of the sea. These branches, greenish-brown and covered in tiny, leaf-like protrusions, aren't just for show. They play a pivotal role in the jellyfish's survival. Photosynthesis is a process commonly associated with plants. However, the branches of the Arborella flotilla are embedded with symbiotic algae. This algae, when exposed to sunlight, undergoes photosynthesis, producing glucose. In this harmonious relationship, the jellyfish offers the algae protection and access to sunlight, while in return, it gets a steady supply of nutrients, allowing it to survive in nutrient-poor stretches of the ocean where other species might struggle. Yet, these tree-like appendages serve another purpose. Predators, deterred by their odd appearance, often mistake the floating forest jellyfish for a clump of drifting seaweed. This natural camouflage gives the jellyfish a distinct advantage, allowing it to float relatively unmolested in the open seas. However, when threatened, the jellyfish isn't defenseless. Hidden amidst its arboreal tentacles are specialized stinging cells. Any unsuspecting predator lured by the jellyfish's serene appearance and hoping for an easy meal will be met with a potent sting, ensuring the jellyfish's continued drift through the oceanic expanses. The discovery of the floating forest jellyfish redefines the understanding of marine adaptability. By harnessing the power of the sun, much like the terrestrial forests of our world, this jellyfish illuminates a crucial lesson. In the ever-shifting, vast, and often unforgiving theater of the seas, evolution finds a way to not just survive, but to enchant. The Arborella flotilla is a testament to the intertwined tapestry of life, where boundaries blur and the wonders of adaptation know no bounds. Number 8. The Australian Golden Horned Lizard In the arid landscapes of Australia, where the sun beats down with relentless intensity and shadows are a precious commodity, resides a reptilian gem, the Australian Golden Horned Lizard, or Oricornis australis. At a casual glance, its sandy-colored scales seem typical for desert-dwelling creatures, offering perfect camouflage against predators. But what sets this lizard apart are the two prominent shimmering golden horns protruding from its forehead. Unlike the tough keratin of a rhino's horn or the bone of an antelope's antlers, these horns are semi-translucent, catching the sunlight in a dazzling display. While the purpose of these horns remains a topic of study, several theories exist. Some suggest they act as a deterrent, making the lizard appear larger and more intimidating. Others believe the horns might play a role in thermoregulation, helping the lizard to dissipate heat. Moreover, during mating rituals, males engage in dramatic displays, tilting their heads to catch the sunlight in their horns, likely aiming to impress potential mates with their radiant crowns. Number 9. The Lava Crawling Snail in the scorching embrace of molten lava flows, where the temperatures soar and life seems an impossibility, nature never ceases to astonish. Amidst these fiery landscapes, a new species has been unearthed, challenging our understanding of life's resilience, the lava-crawling snail. Unlike any other snail species known to science, the lava-crawling snail boasts a shell and body uniquely equipped for its volatile environment. The shell, at first glance, appears almost metallic, a shimmering silver that refracts light. 
This is no mere aesthetic feature. The shell's composition contains a mix of minerals and specialized proteins that reflect and dissipate heat, safeguarding the snail from the intense temperatures around it. Moreover, the snail's underside, or foot, secretes a mucus rich in heat-resistant compounds, allowing it to glide over surfaces that would incinerate other organisms. What draws this snail to such perilous terrain? The answer lies in its diet. Thriving on the microscopic bacteria and algae that colonize freshly solidified lava rocks, the lava-crawling snail has little competition for its specialized food source. This exclusivity comes at the price of constant mobility, as the snail needs to follow the trail of fresh lava flows to sustain itself. However, life amidst the lava is not without its challenges. Apart from the obvious threats posed by the molten rock, the snail has to contend with rapidly changing environments. As lava solidifies and the terrain transforms, the snail must navigate a labyrinth of crevices, ridges, and potential dead ends. Number 10. The Brazilian Night Glowing Plant Tucked within the dense foliage of Brazil's rainforests, a nocturnal spectacle has captured the attention of botanists worldwide. The Brazilian Night Glowing Plant, termed scientifically as Luminflora brasiliensis. By day, its broad, heart-shaped leaves and delicate white blossoms seem unassuming, but as dusk descends, the plant undergoes a magical transformation. Its veins begin to radiate a soft blue-green luminescence, painting a scene straight from a fantasy tale. Forest floors, typically dark due to the thick canopy above, become illuminated pathways thanks to these glowing plants. This bioluminescence isn't merely for show. The glow attracts nocturnal pollinators, such as moths and certain species of bats, ensuring the plant's reproductive success. Moreover, the light deters herbivores, as the illumination in the darkness can make them more visible to predators. Luminflora brasiliensis is a stark reminder of the untapped mysteries of our planet's rainforests, showing us that even in the darkest corners, nature finds a way to shine. Number 11. The Arctic Transparent Snail Venturing to the icy realms of the Arctic, a creature defies the norms of its kin, the Arctic transparent snail, or vitroshell glacialis. Unlike its colorful, opaque cousins, this snail boasts a shell so clear it appears almost made of glass. Within this transparent shell, one can observe the snail's internal organs and its slow, rhythmic heartbeat. The shell's transparency is believed to be an evolutionary adaptation to the snail's icy environment. In a world dominated by white and blue, a clear shell offers a unique camouflage, rendering the snail nearly invisible against the snowy backdrop. This snail feeds primarily on the microscopic algae that grow beneath the ice sheets, using its radula to scrape off and consume its food. In an environment as harsh and seemingly barren as the Arctic, the vitroshell glacialis is a testament to life's adaptability, and the diverse strategies organisms employ to survive and thrive. It serves as a translucent beacon of resilience in a frozen world. Number 12. The Namibian Desert Water Spider The Namib Desert, stretching across the southwestern coast of Africa, is an unlikely place to associate with spiders that rely on water. Yet the Namibian Desert Water Spider, Aquarachne Namibia, has not only adapted but has crafted an ingenious strategy to thrive in this arid expanse. While most desert creatures seek shade during the sweltering daytime heat, this spider heads to the sun-baked sand dunes. Using its silk, it weaves a conical web with a central depression. As the cool night descends, the humid sea breeze rolls in and the structure of the web facilitates the condensation of water droplets from the moist air. By morning, the spider drinks these droplets, sourcing its required hydration. But the marvel doesn't end there. The spider's blue-black hue aids in attracting even more moisture, and its long, water-repellent legs ensure that it doesn't get wet while navigating its dew-laden web. In a land where water is the essence of survival, the Namibian desert water spider has become a master architect of moisture collection. Number 13. The Andean Mountain Walking Fish High in the Andes, a mountain range where oxygen is sparse and the air is crisp, one might not expect to find fish. But the Andean mountain walking fish, Pisipt montana, defies all such expectations. This peculiar creature, not entirely fish nor amphibian, has evolved lungs and can breathe the thin mountain air. 
but its most astonishing feature is its strong, fin-like limbs, allowing it to walk across the rocky terrain in search of small ponds and water-filled crevices. During the rainy season, when these mountain pools are abundant, the walking fish thrives, feeding on insects and smaller aquatic creatures. As the dry season approaches and these pools start evaporating, it employs its walking ability to migrate to more permanent water sources. For local communities, this fish, which displays a dazzling array of colors ranging from deep blues to vibrant reds, holds cultural significance, often symbolizing adaptability and perseverance. In the ever-evolving story of life, the Andean mountain walking fish stands as a chapter highlighting nature's boundless capacity for adaptation and the magic that ensues when life navigates challenges. Number 14. The Tanzanian Miniature Elephant Amidst Tanzania's vast landscapes, from the towering Kilimanjaro to the sweeping plains of the Serengeti, a relatively new discovery has both confounded and fascinated zoologists. The Tanzanian miniature elephant, known scientifically as Elephas minutus tanzaniensis. Standing at just over a meter tall, these diminutive elephants possess all the characteristic features of their larger cousins. Wrinkled gray skin, long tusks, and expressive eyes. However, their reduced size makes them uniquely adapted to the dense forests of Tanzania's inland regions, where navigating through thick undergrowth is easier for smaller creatures. The diet of the miniature elephant primarily consists of fruits, small shrubs, and tree bark. Their smaller size also means they require less food and water than larger elephants, a boon during the dry seasons. Local tribes have long known of these creatures, weaving tales around them of forest spirits taking elephant forms. With the ever-present threat of poaching, conservationists are keen to study and protect these rare pachyderms, ensuring their miniature majesty continues to roam the Tanzanian wilderness. Number 15. The Miniature Mountain Gorilla The diverse tapestry of life on Earth is replete with variations, each adaptation a testament to the ever-changing environment and the need for species to evolve. In the rugged terrains of mountainous regions, where the mist often kisses the ground and the foliage is dense, a new discovery has intrigued primatologists and wildlife enthusiasts alike, the Miniature Mountain Gorilla. The mountain gorillas, famed for their sheer size and strength, are icons of the wild embodying the spirit of the untamed. Yet nestled among these giants is a smaller, almost dainty counterpart, aptly named the miniature mountain gorilla. A subspecies of the familiar mountain gorilla, this creature stands apart not just in stature, but also in its unique behavioral patterns. At roughly two-thirds the size of a regular mountain gorilla, the miniature mountain gorilla exhibits a compact, sturdy body designed for maneuverability. This smaller size becomes advantageous in navigating the dense undergrowth and scaling the steep terrains of its mountainous habitat. The reduced stature, however, does not compromise its strength. Its musculature, especially in its arms and chest, remains robust, facilitating the demanding physical activities typical of gorilla life. While the physical differences are the most evident, the behavioral distinctions are equally captivating. Miniature mountain gorillas demonstrate a heightened sense of community. They form slightly larger groups than their larger counterparts, and their social interactions are more frequent and intricate. Vocalizations, which play a significant role in gorilla communication, are more varied in this subspecies, suggesting a richer lexicon or a wider range of emotions and information they convey to one another. Additionally, the miniature mountain gorilla showcases an increased adaptability in its diet. While the larger mountain gorillas predominantly feed on foliage, this smaller subspecies has been observed consuming a wider variety of foods, including certain insects and smaller fruits, likely a result of their more versatile digestive system. One of the most endearing behaviors noted is their play. Young miniature mountain gorillas are exceedingly playful, with their games often imitating the actions of the adults in their troop, from mock foraging to pretend dominance displays. These playful interactions, researchers believe, play a crucial role in social learning, preparing the young gorillas for the challenges of adulthood. However, like their larger relatives, the miniature mountain gorillas face threats. Habitat destruction, poaching, and climate change are pressing issues, their smaller numbers make them even more vulnerable, and conservation efforts are paramount to ensure their survival.